Should people be continue to apologize for the action of the obedience, or should he just keep quiet and let everything roll by? This has become a very important question. Many obedience are asking. There is some kind of chatter on the social media as to what to do. The genesis of this is that uh, P2B just said a few days ago that many people masquerading as obedience abuse and insult eminent personalities like the Most Reverend Pastor Enoch Adeboye or anyone else, and that it is no more acceptable, and that obedience are by and large law-abiding citizens. So it's a kind of veiled um, apology to Adeboye or his kind of distancing himself from what has been said, either by obedience or people who pretend to be obedient. This is not the first time. Just a few days ago, he visited Wallace Shuinka in Ogun State. And when he was there, he spoke with Wallace Shuinka. We didn't know what happened. When Obi came out, he said he had a very fruitful conversation with him. Now, Wallace Shuinka came out to say that Obi's visit to him has nothing to do with any reconciliation. It was to offer apologies to him. Wow. What did Wole Soyinka do? He came to the television, had an interview, called obedience fascists. Before then, no obedience has ever said anything to Wole Soyinka. During the campaign, Wole Soyinka told Peter B that if he loses the election, it is going to be because of the action of the obedience. And the obedience kept quiet then. And now when he called them fascists, they rose up and they talked. And what happened? Obi went and apologized to Wole Shoinka. Let me take you a bit down the memory lane. It wasn't only that. There was a time that Femi Kuti said something very not nice about the obedience that if he can follow and follow like them, he will become like a zombie. This is not his exact words, but it's something like this. And obedience, of course, when you refer to them as zombies, they have to react, which they did. And the Peter Obi did what? He went to Femi Kuti, visited him to the surprise of many people. That's not all. There has been occasions and legions when he come on TV and apologized and said that um, he doesn't support this, he's obedient, this, this. And one time, Aisha Yesufu told him, stop apologizing for obedience. The other side, they do not apologize. Obedience, from what we know, don't actually rise up and start Attacking anybody in the social media, if we use that language, attack. There was a social media influencer broadcaster that freeze who came there, described them that they have three groups, zombies, obedience, and all that. Said because anybody who says anything against their principle, they attack the person. There's the many others, Reno Mokri and the rest of them. And Peter B keeps saying, oh, these are angry You allow them to express their anger, but I apologize, this, this, this. Is it time to stop? This is not a video just for me. I want obedience and even non-obedience to go to the comment section and tell me what they think about what I'm talking now. On the other side, it was even from an ex unexpected quarter, Senator Shehu Sani, who told after that um, so Wole Shoyinka calling obedience fascists and the rest of them, and Peter will be saying what he said. Wole, uh, this uh, Senator Shehu Sani came and said to Wole Shoyinka directly or indirectly that the behavior of the supporters of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Pito Obi, that is the obedience. 
is more peaceful than those who backed President Muhammad Buhari in 2011. So, nobody will expect Shehu Sani to be the person who will say this. But he said it, and it is absolutely true. And the other thing people are arguing is that, like uh, Aisha Yusufu and the others, that the other side, the APC, the other parties, they don't apologize when they are followers or supporters. Sinubu never apologizes. You can say that obedience are more numerous, but Sinubu, they are people who are in the presidential campaign council, like Festus Keyamo, like Femi Fane Kayode, like um, and, uh, the other one they call Onanuga. What they have said, if it really comes from the obedience, hell will be let loose. Some of the things that came out of their mouth, you can never imagine. And the spokespersons for the P2B campaign council has always been focused on the issues. We never had Tinubu apologize. And that's what uh, the likes of Shehu, Sani, and others are saying. Shehu, Sani even went ahead to issue a warning that P2B might kill what he described as the libido of his movement if he continues to denounce or apologize on their behalf. What do you think of this very important point from Shehu Sani? Sometimes it's good to express anger. It is like the driving force. It's like the thing that is driving the movement that people are dissatisfied with what is happening in Nigeria, with the way the country has been governed. They want a new Nigeria, and they want it with all their spirit, soul, body, and might. That's why the youths rose up, went out in the street. When they say register for voting, they went. Some rain, they didn't care. If it takes eight hours, they stood in line. We saw them serving themselves drinks, doing everything, getting this voter's card, just to get that new Nigeria they are looking for. They went out, they voted, and things happened the way it happened. Before the voting, during the voting, after the voting, they have their opinion, and they express it strongly. They did express it strongly. One thing is, you can suppress people for a while, not forever. Because when you suppress them so much, when the right time comes, it will definitely explode. And it will splatter on everybody's faces. Again, social media is very fluid in terms of identity. So, I can, knowing that P2B is in a party opposite of APC and both of them are struggling or, yeah, haggling who will be in charge of Asurok. I can say something against even Tinubu that I'm supporting with any identity on the social media. And once that is against Tinubu, they will definitely, everybody will definitely say, ah, he's coming from those in the other side, on the other side, which is obedience or Labour Party. But actually, the person who engineered it is not from the uh, obedience. Then again, there are things that have happened that you could see that maybe obedience talk, but some people do worse things. We have seen when Peter B was in the UK, he said he was stopped at the airport before you knew it. They were the photoshopped images of Abike Dabiri, the lady in charge of uh, diaspora affairs, sitting in the same office in front of immigration at UK airport with P2B. But it was completely faked because Abike Dabiri never went to the UK and the P2B never met 
huh? P2B was never taken into any office. It was just something that happened 10, 15, 20 minutes, like he said. And you know what? A whole presidency had to send out this image on social media saying that our auntie, that Bria, saved P2B, intervened. The presidency of Nigeria, APC government, nobody checked the image. Nobody asked questions. And they tweeted it, spread it. And when that information was known to be false, we didn't hear any apology for the presidency of the APC. Never. A few days ago, we saw an image of P2B going to pay courtesy call to Tinubu in Defense House in Abuja, and it was photoshopped. P2B's picture was lifted, put in position of another person who was with Tinubu and Winke or thereabout. So now, which one is worse? That somebody said something and somebody went to the extent of committing what is almost like literally a criminal act, the Miano to a, a little extent. So, this is the problem. When will you apologize? When will you stop? Who is responsible for what an adult says? Is it to be responsible for everything the obedient does or are the obedience responsible for their own actions? This is the crux of the matter. Should we be just shut up if you hear anything, tell them, I don't know what you're talking about. Mind the one you say and defend the one you say and apologize for the one you say if necessary. Should he continue to apologize for obedience? I want to stop this video here and I ask you, please go to the comments section and tell us what you think. Like this video, share it, because whatever you say will help us to make the next video. We will see you in that update.